Hi everyone and welcome to Danka Praktik. If you have a situation like this one, when the car won't start and the battery is the fault, this video will show you one way you can get out of trouble. This video is mainly meant for all the lady drivers out there, but it should be a good guide for recharging the battery altogether. So stay tuned. Danka Praktik. Before we start, we must mention that there are two ways to recharge the car battery. While the battery is still connected and on the car, and when you take the battery out of the car and then recharge it. We will show you in this video the more common way to do this, and that is to get the battery out of the car and then recharge it. If you want to see the other way, while the battery is still connected to the car, you can visit the spare repair and see how it's done. Link for the video is in the description. Also, we must mention that recharging is done when the battery is depleted. So, if you accidentally left the lights on, for instance, or you left the ignition on and the battery is drained, then this will help. If the battery is damaged in some way or has simply expired, this probably will not help, but you'll have to replace the battery instead. For this job, regarding tools and appliances, you'll need, of course, a battery charger. In this case, we're using a very simple model and one that is the most common. On it, you'll find three cables. One for the power supply and two thinner cables with clamps that have a red and black marking on the handles. The power supply cable goes into the wall outlet. The red clamp goes on the positive battery terminal and the black clamp goes on the negative battery terminal. Do not mix these up. If you do, you may cause the safety fuse on the charger to blow out and the charger may stop working. So, it's very important to put the red clamp on the plus battery terminal and the black clamp on the minus battery terminal. Regarding other tools, you'll need a couple of simple spanners, mostly 8, 10 or 13 millimeters, depending on what kind of terminals you have. On some batteries, you may not need any tools at all, since the clamps may have a mechanism of their own. Most batteries also have a metal holder at the bottom, so you may need a ratchet, extension and matching socket to reach it. You may not need any of this if the holder is accessible. Lots of times a simple spanner is enough. What you will be doing, in short, is taking out the battery, recharging it and returning the battery back into place. Simple as that. Before you start, we recommend taking the keys out of the ignition, putting the car into park, or in case of a stick shift, put the car in neutral. Also, best pull the handbrake and lower the driver's window so you can have access to the passenger cabin when the power is out. After this, start removing the battery. When using the spanner, be careful not to accidentally touch both poles as you can cause a violent short circuit. First, take off the minus battery terminal. If you were to take off the plus first, you're at risk of accidentally making a short circuit. After the minus, take off the plus terminal. Then release the battery holder and pull out the battery. Note that the battery is pretty heavy and in some cases when the battery is larger you may need help. Also watch that you don't damage the surroundings while pulling the battery out. Once the battery is out, best put it on the ground and then connect the charger. We would recommend putting the battery in a well ventilated and isolated place just in case. When the battery is charging, there are chemical processes happening inside of it, so it's safer to do it this way. In our case, we left it outside since it wasn't cold and this is perhaps the best and safest way. Now first connect the clamps of the charger. Again. Red clamp goes on the plus battery terminal and the black clamp goes on the minus battery terminal.
After this, plug the charger into the power outlet. And that's it. The battery is now charging. Depending on how depleted the battery is, it may take a couple of hours to revive it. For totally depleted batteries, best leave the battery to charge overnight. For monitoring the recharging process, look at the scale on the charger. When the battery is totally depleted, like in this case, the needle on the gauge will hit the other side of the scale and as the battery gets more and more charged, the needle will slowly return to the other side of the scale. We would also recommend to check the battery from time to time. If you notice that it's heating up, if you hear a boiling like sound coming from it shortly after you connected the charger, best disconnect the battery as it is 99% damaged and it isn't functional. Once the battery is fully charged, do this. First, unplug the charger from the power supply. After this, remove the clamps. Best leave the battery for at least 15 minutes or half an hour to cool down after charging and then reinstall it on the car. For reinstalling, just do the installing procedure but in reverse. Put the battery into its housing and return the metal battery holder. Then return the battery terminals. Plus terminal goes first, minus terminal goes second. It would be good to clean the terminals with some sandpaper or a file before returning them, just in case. If the battery terminals won't sit on the battery poles, you can give them a slight knock with a hammer for better contact. Tighten the terminals firmly, don't tighten too much so you don't break them. After this, try starting the car. When the engine is running, let it run for a couple of minutes so the alternator can additionally recharge the battery. If however, despite the charging, the car will still not start, there are no lights on the dash and it won't crank, then this is a pretty sure sign that the battery is bad and you'll need a new one. In this case, additional recharging will not help. If there is no lights on the dash and everything seems dead and there is no signal when you turn the ignition key then additionally check the battery terminals if they are cleaned and tightened. So that's it for this time. We hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.